Hi all, um, just thought I'd do a quick five minute video. Um, I've had the heat pump in now for three months. Um, I've done quite a bit on monitoring of it. I'll come back in another video if people want to, um, show you what I've done for that. Um, but I just happened to notice that the pressure on my cylinder seemed to be low. Um, the MMI is showing as 0.8. Uh, it's about the same, I think, on the uh, pressure gauge itself. Um, so I'll show you how we go about um, topping up the pressure because I had a look on YouTube um, in the instruction manual, couldn't seem to find it. Um, there was a few on YouTube, but not many. So I thought I'd show you exactly what I have to do um, on my Octopus installed um, heat pump system. Um, so I shall show you that now. Okay, so this is in the cupboard where the cylinder is, as I've shown previously. So you can see that, try and zoom in. MMI 0.8 on there, that's that one there. If I look at the pressure gauge itself, again, that shows it too low. Uh, so, we need to remove this stopper here and this one here. This is the water feed in, and this is the one that goes to the, the tank and the rest of the system. You may need a spanner for these, but these ones seem to be quite loose. Yep. Let's take these off. They'll put a nice little uh, bracket on the wall there for the, the pipe we need to use. And I've never done this before, but let's give it a try. Looks quite simple. Just screw it on. tight and let's see here. and come up and come up there let's come up that's it screw it on apparently this is the, the gauge you should really go by because the the one on the MMI just picks up the um, the pressure from the, the heat pump, and I don't think that's always accurate. Um, okay, so it's all tight enough. Let's give this a go. You've got to turn this so it's in line with the pipe, like so. And then when I turn this one, the pressure should start going up. There we go. So there's one. Uh, one. About one and a half. A bit more. And spot on there. Okay. Um, a lot of people, I believe, leave this on. Um, but I think it's part of the regulations that you've got to take it off. Because if there's a failure on these, we'll obviously turn that one off as well. I nearly forgot. Turn that one off as well. If there's a failure on these, I mean, it would have to fail on both of them, but it can overpressurize the system and I don't know if it causes an explosion or, you know, you'll get leaks I would have thought from it. Um, but there we go. It's still on, yep. Hovering around the one and a half. So I'll, I'll keep an eye on that because, like I said, it dropped down to 0.8. It should be around the, the one to one and a half. Uh, I might need to top up a little bit more because it looks like it's dropping. Definitely is drawn. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay, let's see if it's still steady there. It's dropping. Can we have to call possibly octopus unless it just just needs to settle a bit? Let's see how that goes. Still. 
I'll keep an eye on it and see if I, see if I can get it to stay at 1.5. If not, I've got a number there to, to ring for the octopus um, service department to help out. I'll have to get somebody out if it does. I'll let you know anyhow. Um, I'll probably just put it in the description. But that's it. Like I say, I'll need to remove this again um, in case there's a, you know, there's a failure on one of these. Which again, let's remove it, turn that one off. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll, uh, like I say, I'll, I might do some more videos because I've put some monitoring in and that goes up there. Um, Heatpumpmonitor.org. Um, it's a bit geeky, so I'll let you know. Bye.